joining me for another video. If you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have with me today some Kindy Kid Scented Sisters. Now you'll see on Instagram, I had these before there was any other videos out on there. You know, I've had a, quite a few toy YouTube firsts and I would have had it on this one, but I had some toys come up that I just wanted to review first and I'm sorry I forgot about them. They got pushed to the side, which is terrible because I am a huge, huge advocate of the Kindy Kids range, especially as a toddler doll. One, I always say one of the biggest questions I always get asked is recommendations on toddler dolls. And I'll go through the, the steps that I always look for for toddler dolls, but I wanna just feature one of these. So I'm gonna bring her up. Let's have a look up close. Okay, so up here you'll see Scented Sisters. Basically, this is the new series of Kindy Kids. They've brought them out. They gave me, this one especially, gave me huge strawberry shortcake vibes. You can see she has a strawberry theme. She's meant to smell like strawberry blossoms. And the thing with these is they did take out one of my favorite things with the Kindy Kids range. But they incorporated something else. However, you have to buy it as an additional. So you will see that her name is Berry Delish. I'm a big sister. So in these ones, you can get the big sister and you can get the little sister. So there's a picture of her down here. But to do this, they have taken out the Shopkins that come with these dolls. Now, I love the Shopkins that come with these dolls. Basically, super-sized Shopkins, um, which is a tiny bit sad for me to be quite honest because a strawberry shopkin would have been absolutely gorgeous however i see that they're trying to branch into something a little different here maybe the marketing for shopkins is you know slowly phasing out since shopkins isn't a big thing anymore and they're trying to go into the more the doll focus which is a good thing at the moment there has been mga especially has been bringing the dolly market back to adults and children alike so if you look at the side here, there are effectively three big sisters and it looks like there are four little sisters. So twins, one here and one here. Doesn't she look gorgeous? I love the strawberry. I just thought strawberry shortcake as soon as I saw her. And we're going on the back. Isn't that artwork gorgeous? I'm just going to bring that up. She's blowing a kiss. <laughs> My head bubbles, big glittery eyes, changeable clothes, removable shoes. Look out for Blossom Berry, my little sister. Whoop! So let's open her up and have a look up close. Just going to stop it right there. I've just pulled her out. <laughs> her scent is not so strong that it's overpowering, but I definitely can smell strawberry scent. Snip, snip. All right, she's out of the box. Now, one thing I'm gonna say is once I've pulled the box away, I smelt her again and I, a faint, faint strawberry smell, the box actually smells more of strawberries than she does, which I'm sure she's meant to smell more of strawberries in the box, but I'm gonna be honest and say, eh, that doesn't sit well with me. The dolly should smell more than the box. <laughs> She is, however, very, very cute. So I'm going to bring her up and let's have a look up close. Okay, here is her face. And of course, the one thing with kindy kids is they have these gorgeous glitter eyes. If you look up here, close, there is a strawberry in her eye. She has pink glitter to go with her feature, basically. She has pink freckles light pink lips which are almost in a smirk <laughs> which is an interesting look they're almost in a smirk and then she has pink eyebrows here to go with her hair her hair is kind of unnatural wavy um a natural wavy unnatural i was about to say a natural wavy chaos and that there's not much product which is great what a big bonus for a toddler doll there isn't any product on there because let's be honest sometimes kids chew on hair and all sorts of things and then we've got a very, actually it's not, one thing I say with kindy kids is when you're doing toddler dolls, make sure that the hairstyle is very easy. And with my other kindy kids reviews, you'll see this is one huge bonus. If you want to keep the doll clean, the, you know, they just have a ponytail and stuff. Something which is easy for parents to reset. But if you look on her, her hairstyle isn't incredibly difficult, but it's not going to be the easiest to reset. So it has... A mid part which gets pulled into a plait here and there is a split in the hair here 
and these little goes into little pigtails at the side which have strawberry shopkins at the top so i'm going not on this side though there's a strawberry shopkin on this side i don't know why they're moving away from shopkins when these dolls are basically born from the shopkin range if you look down here she has a dress and this dress is fantastic for toddlers in that it's only done up with velcro at the back it is an easy dress there are not many accessories in fact the only thing there aren't any accessories other than these hair ties and then the shoes are easy put on easy take off because with dolls especially with young kids they take these things off and they lose them but when they're large shoe size like this and they're easy put on easy put off you don't have to worry too much with kids. You're basically trying to keep the hair right <laughs> if you want to keep the hair straight. Now, I am going to be honest, I'm very, very sad that they've removed the Shopkins thing. I think removing the Shopkins thing to, with the added feature of being able to buy a little sister and adding a scent, basically you're taking away a Shopkin and adding a scent and saying buy this other product to make her unique. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it right now I'm disappointed a little in that they took the Shopkin away the doll herself is absolutely gorgeous but they are the same price in New Zealand as the previous ones why has it got less items but still the same price now I am very very happy with the look of this doll. I'm glad that they kept them simple such as the previous ones. Um, Marshmallow is still my favorite but I've got to say that this one in cuteness is a very close second. I think she's taken second place for me. Rainbow Kate was kind of there but I think this one's taken second place for me. She is just so incredibly cute. I look forward to seeing the price and quality of the little sister that goes with her. Okay, so going on to the next dolly in the series, this is Perlina. Um, her little sister looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> she is Rainbow Kate to me in pearl and pastel tones, I should say. She just has that vibe about her. I think her hair is going to be amazing just looking at it she is summer ice cream scent so i'm gonna see if i open up the box get that ice cream whiff and then see if i smell the doll afterwards and can still smell it on her <laughs> so i'm only missing this one here in the middle um from the series i'm definitely going to be looking for the little sisters i wonder who that one is i mean it looks like it's it looks like they could be twins, but I don't think so. It looks like all those girls go with them. So who's this tiny little one down here? Is she like the chaser figure? If there's a chaser figure, I'm giving you a pre-warning. Look out for the chaser. <laughs> because if you actually look, Marshmallow, who's my favorite doll here, is this little sister giving you Marshmallow vibes? Like, look at her hair. Interesting. <laughs> that or she's a twin, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's open her up and get the whiff. All right, because I review to adults and I am effectively, let's just say I had these dolls before there were any other reviews on them on YouTube. I had a few toy first. I'm very lucky in that regard. I have to be honest, as an adult collector, that does not smell like ice cream to me. <laughs> does not smell anything like summer ice cream scent. That smells like plastic. <laughs> I was almost a bit taken off. I went in and I was like, oh, it's going to smell like sweet, like the strawberry box. But no, that was a bit like, Poom. <laughs> so I would not recommend sticking your nose in there and smelling it. Um, maybe because I've had these for quite a while sitting around. Um, I was actually meant to do the review before the other ones came out. But look, I'm not going to lie. Let's get her out. Okay, now that I have this little cutie out of the box, I'm going to show you something which I have not seen on any of my other kindy kids, um, <laughs> which I'm actually really disappointed in. So they've got the same price for the dolls. They've taken away the Shopkins element, basically added a feature which is to buy another doll. Um, to not buy another doll. And when I bring her up, see if you can spot it. 
Now, she is cute. I almost changed my mind and liked her more than the other one, but then I saw what was wrong. Let's bring her up and have a close-up look. Can you see what's wrong with her? Now, it was not noticeable in the box because of the way it is, and it's not noticeable here until I point it out. Look, I will not lie. Even when I'm told to give a good review. <laughs> See that back dot on there? That is actually a hole in the mold. That should not happen. That absolutely should not happen on a new doll. Can you imagine a child just wants this for her birthday, they open it up and they see that. They are not going to be happy. I've just pulled her off while I was rambling. It's like a bubble under the plastic. So there is a tiny, tiny coat over it. I'm just trying to get in focus. Come on camera. So there's a tiny coat of plastic. If I put a pin in that, it'll just go <laughs> much like a pimple. Maybe they're trying to give pit to pimples to these dolls. I am very, very disappointed. And this is the first time I'll say this about kindy kids. There obviously has been no quality checking on this. There is, they have taken away in my country, the accessories, yet the price is still the same. But basically, you are paying more for less quality checking and less product. Let's bring her up again and just have a look anyway. So on the top, they've got another nod to shoppies here. It's like a little butterfly, like a little butterfly coming down to here. The beautiful eyes. She has an open mouth with teeth. Huge bonus for me, dolls with teeth. Eyebrows. Her eyes are cute, and inside here, she has like a little, is it like a little seashell? She has her highlights. Her hair, again, is fantastic for kids, and that there's not product running through it. It is basically curled and set, but not sprayed. <laughs> her hairstyle is basic, which I like. It is just basically a half up, half down. Come on, camera, be my friend. I know the other one's cute. There we go. Half up, half down, so it is an easy reset for your child. I am not sure why they have cut in the center here. You look, there's long tendrils on each side. And then in the middle here, I think they've separated them a bit awkwardly. No, there is not. There's another, yep. Yeah. There is another quality issue there. Look at that in the middle. So what they've counted on is this to hide the middle for you. But what it's left is this huge gap here. Huge gap here, which looks silly. To me, it looks like a child's gone. <laughs> you know, when you find the dolls at the markets that have had the special, you know, haircut. This is basically a <laughs> do. Again, I'm very, very disappointed in the quality checking of these dolls. Um, on one of my favorite ranges, you can see my other... Um, recommendations on them I get asked about kindy kids for um, about toddler dolls a lot um, I recently just got asked for even by my own family member for a five-year-old that they knew etc they ended up going with the lol omg tweens they're so in fashion right now I said look if it's an older child who knows how to look after things go with that for the for her um, I'm glad that she didn't go with my kindy kids recommendation on these ones. I recommended them on how cute they were of the new season, but I would be very disappointed in my doll and I am very disappointed as an adult collector with a bubble in the mold and a rooting issue for how expensive these are. I think they are retailing. Hang on. Um, I don't have the price. But they are retailing at the moment, I think like $59.99. So 60 New Zealand dollars effectively for the snow line came out. Now she has a cute little top here. Her clothes are fine. Little bubbles. So she's obviously got a C theme with her. Love, love, love that it's a one piece. Easy for you to just to take off and find. You know, you're not looking for a skirt. You're not looking for a top. You're not looking for a bangle. You're not looking for a necklace like other dolls. And again, easy to put on and take off shoes. All right, so that's my review on the new Kindy Kids range. Um, it's a shame that this doll was so disappointing because if she had not had that bubble there and that hair issue, I would say, look, they've taken away the shoppies, added a scent, and 
unfortunately added you've got to buy a little sister to go with them but I still think they are some of the best uh, toddler dolls on the market for kids you know for kids um, I am going to say, if I was recommending Kitty Kids, I would say buy the previous seasons where you get the shoppies included and I have yet to see any issues with those dolls. Um, I have quite a few of them. I've reviewed some of them. You can check those out, especially Marshmallow and Rainbow Kate, who were my favourite. This doll here is absolutely cute. I love her a lot and I'm very, very happy with her. I am disappointed in the lack of Shopkins, but the rest of her is gorgeous. I am very disappointed in this one here. Um, that is an obvious flaw, and it is looks like a giant pimple on the side of her nose. <laughs> oh well, these things happen, and that is why we do reviews. Make sure you check out these dolls in the box before you buy so you don't get faced with lack of quality control. If you love toy reviews, please give this a thumbs up. If you want to discuss any of the features um, below, um, I, as I said, I would recommend the previous seasons for your toddlers. Um, just if you're fussy like me and you like your dolls to be nice. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <gasps>